Hey everyone, Pastor Tommy McMurtry from Liberty Baptist Church in Rock Falls. Just want to make a video kind of giving everyone some instructions for watching live streams services instead of attending a service in the flesh. This is something that a lot of people are going to have to do. Uh, hopefully not real long, but it's going on right now where uh, some places they're not allowed to have gatherings of uh, more than 10 or more people. I believe in our state, 50 is banned. I don't know that they've gone lower than that yet but it's it's different in different places in different states so a lot of people are not going to have the option of physically attending a church and i'm not here to um you know criticize the decision that churches have made um, it's different in different locations and different states some places have a lot more going on with this virus than other places uh, some places it's not bad at all but either way, I do want to say I appreciate the fact that from what I've seen so far in the federal government, they have not been um, mandating anything. They've been making suggestions. And I appreciate when the government uh, understands that they are limited on their power. And even though the news media is begging them to just take power and just decide what to do for everyone, they're holding themselves back. I was watching the press con uh, conference yesterday with President Trump and the news media was making a big deal and trying to ask Trump about one of the southern states that they didn't go with the 10 uh, groups of 10, but it was like 25. And, you know, and they're like, you know, we're not here to argue about numbers. We recommend 10, but if they're done 25, you know, it's amazing the way the news media just wants a king and a dictator. I think that's wrong. And I appreciate the fact that they are making it a suggestion. I do believe things like this are more up to local leaders and not this one size fits all for the whole country. I think that is wrong and I think that is dangerous. So when it comes to what churches should do, I think it depends on their area, their situation. And, what, and so uh, that's all I'm gonna really say about that. But for you, if uh, you, know, you don't feel safe uh, going out right now, if you're somebody who's more susceptible to this type of thing and it could be more dangerous for i don't think there's anybody that would criticize you uh, that would criticize you for choosing to stay home during this time so but at the same time what i would like to say is if you're planning on watching a live stream instead of attending in the flesh that you take it serious and you do a few things and one i encourage you to watch a live stream as it is taking place don't just watch it later no you need to take take the time Set your family down, remove all distractions, get rid of your electronics, get rid of your cell phones, put them aside just like you would in church, have nothing on your laps except for a Bible, and everyone sit and pay attention to the service just like you would in church. Have your kids go to the bathroom before the preaching starts and have them wait until it's done before they go again. You need to take this thing serious. It's real easy to develop bad habits and it doesn't take long. And, and I don't know how long this thing's gonna last. And the last thing you wanna do is to get out of the habit of going to church. So for every service where you stay home and watch a live stream, take it serious, stop everything else that you're doing and focus in on the service. Pray when they're praying, sing when they're singing, read the Bible when they're reading the Bible. Don't be talking. You wouldn't be eating popcorn and chips during the service. And don't be doing it from home. Don't make this a fun, easy thing that people would rather do instead of coming in the flesh. I think it'd be better off if you were a little bored. You say, I don't know if my kids are going to enjoy that, you know, just sitting at home like that. And you know, they probably won't because it's actually better to be there in the flesh. And so if you do it this way, everyone's going to be anxious to get back to being around people in the flesh and being in the congregation. And we won't take a chance of developing any bad habits during that time. So I would encourage you to take it serious. I'm going to take it serious. I've studied just as much as I normally do for the sermon I'm going to be preaching tonight. I, I plan on continuing to do that. I'm not just going to go and re-preach a series of sermons that I've already done before. I'm taking this serious. You need to take it serious too. And I would encourage you if you go to another church uh, that you uh, pay m main attention to the live stream from your church, okay? Don't use this as an opportunity to visit another church and watch their live stream that you might think would be a little more exciting. No, pay attention to what's going on in your church first. You need to know that. That is your church. That is your assembly. Watch them first. And then after that, if you want to watch another service, another time zone, 
great and you know do that eating chips and you know whatever but when it comes to your service just take it serious let's not develop any bad habits during this time so anyway uh i hope this was a help i hope you'll follow these things and hopefully everything will get back to normal as soon as possible but until then if you don't have a, if your church isn't doing a live stream you're welcome to watch ours or, uh, but i encourage you do something let's not develop any bad habits and let's pray that things get back to normal as quick as possible. So thank you for watching. God bless. We will see you all later.